Bonjour, bonjour, fragrance lovers. This is Clémence. I talk about fragrance and welcome back. Today is a new vlog. Happy to do another one so uh, short after the last one in Harrods. And uh, today I'm taking you through my day again, but it's a special one because uh, I'm taking you to meet one perfume. Cécile Zaroukian. I'm so happy to meet her. She's coming to London, so I'm like, I need to meet her. She's got some new exciting launch to talk to you about, I think. And me, I've got plenty of questions to ask her. So I can't wait. Really need to be quick and go to uh, Chanel before as usual. I still didn't choose my scent of the day. Uh, I mean, I'm quite under pressure because, uh, you know, it's it's Cecile. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't want to stink in front of her. <laughs> I think I'm going to go for a vanilla uh, because I know she enjoyed that ingredient. Um, let me get something. I'm going to take um, Alexander J. You know, I love this fragrance. I received it a few months ago and I can't deal without not having it. It's a really like vanilla fragrance, but a lot of coconut. Uh, it's not... It's really, really gourmand, very sweet and a lot of sillage. And that's why I love this house for the packaging, obviously stunning. But um, they've got like a massive projection. Can you imagine like you wear a fragrance, like it, you interview like someone, like I don't know, like uh, well, Cecile today, but imagine you interview like Kylian Hennessy or Alberto Morillas and like you really don't like your smell failure of my life <laughs> so i hope she's not gonna mind not the best day clemence to put some heels and i've got my ring light over here in the bag so there's pretty a lot but yeah I need to be quick now it looks a bit packed in the bus and i don't want to be like with a lot of people you know what i mean so i'm gonna use the the tube ah i hate the tube So we are actually with Cécile, so I promise you we're gonna have like a lovely time with a perfume one day and what is my surprise to have Cécile next to me today. So Cécile, how are you? I'm super good, thank you. Thank you Clémence, I'm so happy to be there and uh, hello everyone. I'm gonna talk a little bit about your life, like being a perfumer, it's a bit like of a mystery for everyone. We don't talk too much about perfumer and in my channel I really like to talk about perfumer. So tell me Cécile, okay. what brought you into fragrances? What's the story? Long story short, uh, I started uh, with Izipka, maybe you know the, yes, the, the perfume school. school. Yeah. Yes. It's an apprenticeship, so you have to learn uh, in a company yeah. and uh, mine was uh, Robert A. Yeah. You know? I studied in Grasse, South of France. It's lovely. You know, the capital of perfumes. Grasse is the cradle of perfumery. Like, if you want to have the good quality of ingredient and if you want to learn about perfumery, Grasse is the best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was uh, lucky enough uh, to be trained by a senior perfumer, mm -hmm. Daniel Morel, uh, wow. actually. Then, uh, it was uh, Michel uh, Almerac, yeah. the perfumer, uh, who uh, asked me to come to Paris to work two more years uh, in uh, Robert A, but in Paris. Yeah. So I did four years uh, in total. I started my own company in 2011. Mm -hmm. So it's been 10 years. It's our 10 year anniversary. Wow. Actually. Busy lady, it's like a proper business woman. <laughs> <laughs> so you actually answered like a lot of my questions ah. in one go. So I'm super happy. <laughs> but no question anymore. Bye now. I want to talk about a bit the inspiration in fragrances because I know like for all perfumers you can tell a bit with their fragrances and when you start to learn about themselves where their inspiration are from and I want to know like for example when you create a fragrance do you 
have to have like an inspiration before or you just create the ingredient first and think after? Like how does it work for you? I'm really uh, focused on what we call the brief, you mm -hmm. know? So the brief is uh, basically what, what the, the client wants, mm -hmm. uh, but it's not something strictly formal. I mean, it could be, it could be colors, it could be songs, it could be, we will talk about it more uh, later, but it could be anything mm -hmm. that could inspire me uh, in, and related to, to the creative process that, that could fit it. So it's not the same if it's that brand and another one. So I would say the brand's DNA, the brand universe, and, uh, and uh, what's the story we'd like to tell with the fragrance and everything. Do you have any favorite like ingredients? Like I know like it's a really general <laughs> question. For example, for me, like, my type of fragrance usually are very oriental. I like when it's very mysterious, sensual, things like that. Very opulent. What is your style? So the thing is, yeah, I would kind of answer as, as you did. It's like, for me, it's not about my personal taste. It's mm. about what I want to express in a perfume and mm. what's the story we're going to tell. Yeah. But it's true that, I mean, I have, a, I have a, let's say, a personal taste. And I would say if you're really insisting uh, in, uh, in, uh, in knowing my, uh, my taste uh, regarding that, I would say, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's true that I'm more into oriental and, and, and central perfumes, yeah. ambery. Yeah. But again, uh, I have worked on, on fragrances that are mm. very different to, to fulfill um, my clients' expectations. Yeah, and of course. This is the client expectations, and supposedly then afterwards it will reach out mm. to, uh, to something, people, yeah. to something nice, yeah. <laughs> and and to people, you know, and I to mean, people, yeah. Because otherwise, if it's just a client side of well, yeah, well, that's well, that's the thing. Like you create fragrance that needs to be appreciated as well. Exactly, so that's the exactly. thing. Like I heard a lot. It's like, not you just know, for us. You know? That's the thing. Like there's <laughs> a lot of people that want it. something like something super unique because they think it's a bit more luxurious. But I think the luxury in fragrance as well is to please a lot of people. Precisely. Yeah. Thank you for saying that. Okay, I've got a tricky question. If you had to pick a fragrance that you didn't create, but you wish you would have created? Uh, Shalimar. I Shalimar. mean, maybe this is really um, cheesy, but... No, it's, it's not uh, cheesy at all. It's just, you know, it's, it's gorgeous. Uh, um, Le Mal. Le Mal. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy you say that. So powerful, so brilliant. Yeah, I think so too. Like, it's one of my favorite designers. But like a lot of people associate it to a bit the 90s clubbing and stuff. But like I really appreciate the fact that you made a little revolution because like it's quite yeah. sensual for a fragrance for men yes. like back in the day. So I'm really glad you say that. <laughs> and Shalima and, and see, well. it's very different. A famous person you would have loved to create, you would love to create the fragrance for, for or you would have loved to. Sorry. I think I have a good one. <laughs> You're going to say something really bad. Oh, cheesy, but um, since we're in the UK... Oh my god, what Yeah, you, you know... The Queen! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> of course! Do you yeah, know she, why not? She wears some Clive Christian, as far as I know. So going back a bit, like, to something a bit more personal, but do you, do you have any, like, childhood-scented memory? Yes, for sure. I have, uh, I have many, and uh, um, because again, it's so powerful, especially childhood uh, memories uh, related to uh, to the, the, the sense of smell. My grandmother was uh, cooking um, stuffed wine leaves. You know, Ooh, uh, you have many spices in it, mm. and for me, I have a huge, uh, a precise uh, image of her uh, and close to the the oven, and and the the room was completely filled with the with the spices and you have the spices but you have the rice it's kind of smelling between uh, nutmeg and mm. clove actually oh. have the um oh, uh, the, the, pignon pain, the pine I, I've got no clue voilà. how to say that. Voilà, voilà, voilà. <laughs> Comment dit les pignons? Hein? Uh, voilà. No voilà, idea. Voilà, voilà. Like, well, but I don't know. Je ne sais pas. Grave. pas Pignons. <laughs> <laughs> Pine nuts. This is uh, your uh, Google friend saying that? Okay. Is it? There is an image. Okay. Pine nuts. Anyway, Pine nuts. we said that when it's related to, to, to food, <laughs> we, we are allowed to use French words. Right? Absolutely. Donc les pignons de pain. Is... Voilà. It's really a connoisseur surfing. Voilà. So, you smell that. Okay. And, uh, and, and, and of course, the smell of the, the, the wine leaves. When did you know like you wanted to be a perfumer? Actually, I didn't yeah. uh, because I, 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 I'm not going to say I wanted to do that uh, when I was a child or something because actually I wanted 
first to be a pediatrician. Ah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, my father was a, a doctor, and yeah. uh, and uh, and so I started studying medicine. Uh, I was in med school actually before. Mm. I met a friend of a friend that uh, just randomly, and she told me about the, the school, the same school that I did later, and all the perfume one. But you know, I was not. An insider, so I was really thinking at the time. I think like most of the people uh, are like, okay, it, this is Dior or Chanel or this brand, and mm. they have their perfumer, perfumer. in house, you yeah. know. And we didn't know mm. m uh, much thing about uh, the perfumers. I was uh, always sensible um, uh, to smells yeah. in general, but not only perfumes mm. actually, because I was fascinated by. By everything uh, that you can smell, like for example, my friends with the, the smell of their laundry or yeah, the yeah. paper, because I'm uh, everything that goes through my hands, it mm. goes through my nose. Like uh, the, the 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 smell of um, uh, the paper uh, the, the, on books. Mm. I didn't consider it as a future position until I met someone that kind of um, uh, helped me to discover this entire world mm -hmm. that I didn't, I was not aware of. Yeah. So yeah, that's, uh, oh, that's, that's how it started. That's a beautiful story though. <laughs> what advice would you give to a young perfumer or someone that wants to be a perfumer? What would be your advice? So the first thing I would mention is uh, that in, as in many artistic and creative uh, jobs, uh, many apply, few are chosen. Uh, after saying that, I would say if, if, that's, if that's your dream, then be persistent, be mm. determined hang on <laughs> yeah i wanted to talk about two of your creations that i absolutely love i want to talk about my favorite one which is a uh, femme jovoy collection and it's remember me oh i absolutely love this fragrance because i've got like i love a milky note when i actually like read that it was you creating i was like oh <laughs> <laughs> it's just that milkiness and slight warmer tone but it's slightly fresh at the start so there's a i like when fragrance have a big complexity, a nice contrast between something like quite freshly opening and then dry down to something like more warm and milky, creamy, I just love that. You described that very well. Yeah. That's, that, that's kind of what I was, want, what I, uh, as I tried to achieve. Did yeah. you? Oh, yeah. well, that's what you've done super yeah. well. <laughs> we have a good story there uh, because, you know, um, so for this fragrance, uh, François Hénin, yeah. you know, the owner of uh, Jovoy, so they were about to open a store in Qatar, mm -hmm. in Doha, and uh, he wanted me to work. He told me, you have, Cecile, you have to experience, to, to drink and taste the Karak. It's a local beverage mm -hmm. and it's kind of a chai latte. Ah. Mainly ginger, uh, cardamom, of course, clove. Yeah. And uh, so it's very spicy and it's with a condensed milk, mm -hmm. uh, so milky, sugary. But of course, I mean, if it's just a beverage, we're talking about a fragrance, so yeah. we need more, you right? Need more. Although, <laughs> otherwise, it's not it's gonna, gonna be, be nice that, to drink. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> not that interesting. <laughs> so we went to, to uh, Qatar together. We went to the souk, we smelled the spices together. Along the way, we just uh, walk by uh, frangipani trees. I'm crazy about the frangipani trees. I love frangipani trees. It's kind tree. of the common thread to, to <laughs> many of my trips and, uh, and, and I just love them. Oh, I thought that it would be, I mean, to again, to, to, to add some depth to, to the yeah. perfume uh, for the floral part. Uh, in addition to the Cara Clay Latte, mm -hmm. uh, you have the French Pani uh, Blossom uh, in uh, Remember Me. Yeah. Uh, so it's a it's a heavy sweet yeah. tea mm. and uh, and we have the French Japanese blossom we, we need to breathe you know yeah. we need some uplifting uh, notes so that's why as, as, as you very well described you have this rush of citrus mm. on top that is very important to balance yeah. with the more heavy base notes yeah. uh, that you will find. And so another frag everyone is raving about it like it's Annie obviously. <laughs> I mean everyone is yeah. like must be talking to you about like Annie all the time probably. No I mean I, I mean, I'm so happy I yeah, mean it's why would I complain? Well incredible you created like a masterpiece. When we launched Annie actually I mean of course we were very happy with the, with the fragrance with Nishani mm. But honestly, and again, if I'm being really honest, we were thinking, yeah, well, it, it's a very good fragrance, but I think it might be edgy. I'm not sure it will be that easy or that accessible mm. to many uh, people. And so we were so surprised. 
seeing that it's commercial, yeah. like meaning that many people are enjoying it. Also very surprised when everybody was uh, was uh, telling vanilla fragrance. <laughs> and of course they, it has vanilla, but yeah. again, for There's me, it else. was kind of a surprise because of course there is vanilla. Yeah. But for me, if, if you want to summarize it, it's like a green, woody, spicy, and vanilla and berry yeah. fragrance. But for me, vanilla was just one part. Mm. It's not about what is it or it, it, if, as long as you enjoy it. Question, question. You're releasing a new fragrance, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> Tell me more about it. We're going to talk about Matteo yes. uh, for Amouage. Yes. And we were talking about vanilla fragrance and that's the perfect transition. This one very de dedicated on vanilla, but as you can see and smell, mm. it's really not the same. The return for me uh, to Amouage, yeah. uh, because actually my first creation uh, when I was uh, still a trainee perfumer uh, oh. in Bogote was Epic Woman. You did that when, when you was a trainee? Yeah, oh, in 2000. Fantastic. That was my first perfume. <laughs> You're joking. I no, no clue. You, you didn't know? No, no, that's fantastic. Yeah, God. in 2009. You were promising, weren't you? <laughs> 12 years and, and it, it is still actually uh, on the top three uh, bestsellers uh, of the brand uh, for the women. <laughs> so now, 12 years later, and as an independent, so that's also something that matters. Oh. Um, so I'm back to Amouage. So Matteo is uh, all about vanilla absolute. Mm -hmm. Renaud Salmon, mm -hmm. uh, the creative director uh, of Amouage, uh, reached out to me. It was, uh, so he was looking for a vanilla fragrance mm -hmm. for a long time. And he was not um, satisfied with anything he received. And, uh, and so he told me first what he didn't want. Uh, actually, like the kind of uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it. It's kind of very sweet, over sugary fragrance, like kind of very childish in a way. It's more if some it, if it talks to people more about vanillin. Mm. That I would say let is kind of a vanilla sugar, you know. Yeah. But it's really not uh, close the to the vanilla. no. It's not. My dad has a bakery and um, he uses only the actual vanilla, but not the vanillin. And he makes me smell the difference. And I was like, well, it's much, it's, I don't know if I should say woody or something, but it doesn't smell like the vanilla that we know. No, at I all. mean, the vanilla beans, if you smell them, it's, it's leathery, it's animalic, mm -hmm. it's, it's powerful. Yeah. And you have like a little bit of vanillin because that's the main component there but it's just one yeah. bit you know but it has this leathery animalic facade and it's it's very deep it's complex and it's it's wild back to the story and we were he was telling me about the material girl uh you know the song uh with yes. uh, with madonna, madonna. And uh, and uh, and I told him so because again during the song uh, you can have the the yeah you were uh, yeah I just this is he talked to, oh so it's called like that because of the song yeah oh my god you didn't amazing. know no yeah. through this song I mean it was looking for let's say the opulence of the you know it was uh, at the time in the eighties mm. you have the very complex very powerful fragrances it was like yeah you know. And uh, and there was uh, my tail girl. Sorry, was uh, was uh, topping the charts uh, in 1985. Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, during the song, if you if you take a look at the video, actually the the the, the message is okay. It's the material girl, okay, with jewelry and everything. But if you pay attention to the lyrics and the video, it seems like you're focusing on materialism through immaterialism. You know. Oh my god, that's so deep. And, <laughs> and, and, and the point was like, okay, so it's kind of the same with the, the vanilla fragrance. So you want a vanilla fragrance. And I told Renaud, like, like in the lyrics, well, at some point, Madonna is telling, well, if they don't give me proper credit, I just walk away. Mm. And I told Renaud, okay, so you told me what you didn't want. And you want a vanilla fragrance, and by the way, because maybe people don't know, but it's a very expensive ingredient. <laughs> yeah. Very. Uh, I mean, we're not talking about the vanilla. And so I said, okay, so we're talking about the material girl, so you better be able to afford it. <laughs> you know? So you better have the money, because it's going to cost you a lot. Did you say that to I said that. You're amazing. With, um, You're my inspiration. I, uh, <laughs> 
we put a lot of precious rich uh, ingredients in it that will it's not just a gimmick but that will add some um, uh, uh, depth some complexity uh, some texture mm. to the fragrance at the end who cares about how much we put in the in the fragrance and the ingredients and as you said maybe the people don't know that and they don't need to know mm. but i just want that that's the only goal that i want you to, to 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 keep in mind is that they feel that it was the money they spent actually well i have a little gift for you <laughs> <laughs> i'm just like oh Look at this package, guys! I'm gonna do a close-up on that. We can, would, we can. I would really enjoy to do an unboxing for okay. my community because look at for this. Sure. Right? This is just so good. Thank you, Cecile. I want to cuddle you, but I won't. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that you know you've got a little quote with you and your name and everything. I always keep saying that perfumers should like have more recognition when they create something. So that's really nice that Thank they're you. adding that. I, I kind of agree. <laughs> Excusez-moi. <laughs> Excusez-moi, but I'm just cutting the zeal. But like, look at this blotter. This is actually... Cecile mm, mm, name on it. Wow. <laughs> you know, like for me, like it's just being with a superstar because like... Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm very good lovers. Like for, like for me, my superstar are people like you, Alberto <laughs> Morias, Francis Cardian. <laughs> so, you well, know. these are superstars. You are a superstar to, to me. <laughs> so. Sweet yeah. in a way, it's comforting, but it's also very leathery. It's it's animalic and it's it's complex and it's deep, and it's kind of this contrast be between wildness and innocence. You yeah. know, uh, sweet in a way, but wild and dark. That's also. exactly what it is. A bit like Sharon Stone, you know, <laughs> wearing that. You know that kind of vibe, like super confident woman, but still very feminine but you know that kind of bus babe it's powerful and long-lasting but it's not an in-your-face fragrance oh. you remain classy and elegant you know mm. and again you will be noticed but you won't shout yeah. you know mm. can Actually. i try it on the skin yes of mind? course thank you feel free and uh, enjoy it as much as you want <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love it. Three bal balsams, uh, like frankincense, the labdanum, and uh, the, um, the benzoin. Yeah. Uh, to have this kind of magnetic, sweet, but, but dark and wild and resinous. That's for me like true perfumery, when you can, you know, discover your fragrance again and again. They have a, a beautiful uh, setup, uh, you know, it's on the A side of Harrods this yeah. week. This week! And they, had, they did a, a, a beautiful work with the flowers and the perfumes and I can't wait to see, because back to what you were saying, uh. I can't wait to see the big visuals in Harrods, you know. And, you know uh, and, 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 and sorry, but Pierre de Pride. <laughs> you can be very, very proud like to just go in there and tell it's your baby, like, I mean... Skin scent. Okay. Vanilla. Calamon. Designer. Uh, bleu. Harrods. <laughs> Croissant. <laughs> Tricky one. I know. I mean, Living I... in Paris, but I love coming there. Francis. Uh, Chanel. Ah, tricky. Why is that? Why? <laughs> because of the whole story. Yeah. For the perfumes? Yeah. Garlo. Yeah. <laughs> Tom Ford. Tom Ford, yeah, okay. Oh, okay. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's just about your mood. Okay. Yeah, saying. that's true, actually. Mine. Warm. You're gonna say the same? Oh, warm mm -hmm. fragrance. Yeah. Oh, beautiful packaging, come on. Petit verre. Because it's so complex and I would say maybe more nuanced mm. than wood. That's why I prefer as well. Oh, since we're there, base nuts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What are you talking about? I know. <laughs> well, again, who cares? It's your personality. It just Amazing. That's exactly what I needed. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, sorry, but French. I'm French. Sorry, guys. Yeah, well. <laughs> I but love you. <laughs> Sampling. Why that? What do you think? Now? Because I, I, I think you have to, I mean, okay, go for it if you want to buy and buy, but you have to experience it. And that will show that if you come back, that's, that, that's a reason why. Keep saying that, but no one is listening to me. <laughs> Maybe you're going to listen to Cecile now. Wood. For example, in material, you have wood, you don't smell it. Yeah. Because it's, it's a tool. Mm, like it's more like a backbone, isn't it? It gives the structure. In Matteo, it's like because uh, it's it's a, again it's a very complex ingredient. Mm. But long story short, it's it has used it as a fixator to strengthen mm. the powerfulness of the vanilla. There, like mm. it would be powerful and long lasting and deeper, but you won't smell the woody thing. Bagarre rouge. Why? <laughs> because it's Francis. <laughs> yeah, Francis. Love. His work, and yeah, I think it's too. just brilliant. He's and, a and, genius, and, and, isn't and Baccarat Rouge is brilliant. In, I have to say, I'll be honest, like I prefer Grand Soir myself. Oh, I love Grand Soir. Oh, this ambery fragrance. A lot of fragrance in the collection. Yeah, I think every mood. Exactly. I, I like the quote of uh, Francis for that. It's uh, the perfume white work. And citrus fragrance. Uh, marine fragrance is a huge topic, and and I don't like that many. Uh, actually, I mean, I think it has to be done in a in a in a in a subtle way. You know my answer, but I just want to hear it. <laughs> no dupe. But again, I would add yeah. that I couldn't care less. Yeah. Because honestly, I'm I'm sorry, it's gonna sound p pretentious, but. If you're looking for this, for example, you have to for Annie, for Tango, but if you're lo looking for that, you're not going to be able to, to find it in, in dupes and copies. And because first you have to afford it, again, mm -hmm. back to the, the costing uh, yeah. of the ingredients, it's not cheap. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and also I take uh, care, uh, good care of not having an easy fragrance to copy. So be my guest. Well, <laughs> that's so well said. But that's it, I'm done. Thank you so much, Clémence. My pleasure. Well, thank you for having me here and spend a little time with me as well. And thank you. To all my thank you for questions. having me, for inviting me. And I, and I hope you had uh, as much pleasure as I had uh, creating uh, the fragrances and sharing my passion with you. Yeah, I mean, um, I'm super happy. You're my first uh, perfume on my channel. So for me, it's really? Really, yeah, it's really special. Oh, I, thank you. I always wanted I'm to. I'm honored. Yeah, I'm flattered. No, no, no. I always I'm wanted to. Blush. And I'm just going to add that. Yeah. Uh, though, because since I'm there uh, in London, at the end of the week, uh, so most probably starting Thursday uh, to Sunday, I will um, I will be in around Harrods. If you if you want to meet and uh, I don't know, I mean something very casual, informal, but I will take a look at the at the, the Amouage uh, stand and uh, so it, I don't know if you if you want to to go there and come by and have a chit chat. Uh, enjoying a terrace, you know, it's it's precious for friends. Uh, we don't have yes. them yet. Yes. So, I mean, I will be around. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Anyway, bye now. Bye. <laughs> bye, everyone. I hope Thank you, you enjoyed that. Um, so, we're going to go back home now. I mean, there's absolutely no one, so... <laughs>
I can really feel it over there. It's really like spicy on my hands and it's got that warm tone without being sweet, which is absolutely stunning, but you've heard everything about that and I'm really, really enjoying it. Just to let you know as well, she told me something that was quite interesting. She told me that, you know, she, she works a lot with uh, Jovoy. Oh, I love uh, this, this store to go for my fragrance shopping and I think I'm gonna do a vlog uh, in Jovoy uh, soon. I'm gonna talk with them to do, to do a vlog maybe, like if they agree with it, that would be amazing uh, for next month maybe. Um, but basically, uh, she's, Jovoy is gonna release a coffret with the best sellers or like you know like great fragrances from Cécile so it's like a Cécile best of set <laughs> it's amazing honestly I, I really want to smell that like I really want to to have one I think it's really nice I just love when um, you know like someone decided to put the highlights on the perfume I think it's amazing they're true artists voila I hope you enjoyed the little vlog again with me so it was less of a moving but more of a chat uh, in this vlog today but it was such a pleasure for me I had such a beautiful time and I really enjoy doing that with you. So tell me if you want to see more. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a little like, share this video with your mates. And I will see you very soon. Bye now.